Well, it's a lucky day for us because we find ourselves here today in Peru, Indiana, with a Miami Indian Council member. And this is Sarah, but her Indian name is, oh, so I'm sorry, Sarah, we have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. And your Indian name is? My Indian name, or my native name, is Coco Tilanguia. And? Um, in Miami, or Miamia, that means butterfly. Uh, the reason I, my grandmother said she named me that is because she said I never sat still. <laughs> With Indian name, or native names, you have to kind of be careful because you don't always get what right. you want. Well, I had a few questions for you today, and I am tickled to be here because I've been almost a year and a half waiting for this moment to meet the Miami nation or people from the Miami nation. But I have a few questions for you. In this lifetime that you've spent here on Mother Earth, what has been your favorite accomplishment? I think probably my so far favorite accomplishment is being able to continue on the traditions, cultures, and the history that was taught to me by my grandmother and my father. Wow. And in the Miami Nation, what is your job or what is your, your duties? Um, in the Miami Nation, um, I am the tribal secretary. Um, so I sit on our tribal council. Um, and I'm the person who basically takes all the minutes for the council meetings and then you know um, presents them to council the next meeting. Um, I also am a family representative of the Mongosa family, which means that I have had family members choose me um, to represent them on tribal council um, in a grandfather seat, which is a seat that I hold either for life or until um, I give it up or they decide that maybe someone else might better replace me. Wow. Now, these next questions are optional. Uh, in your lifetime, what has been the greatest moment of your life? Mm. I don't know if I have a greatest moment as a, maybe a series of moments. I think the most uh, fun or greatest um, times of my life were spent with my grandmother um, growing up and, and going to different events um, and going to different uh, uh, family events, going to different native events um, and getting that sense of camaraderie and that family, you know, that you that you have. Um, we have such an extended family that sometimes it wasn't always, um, uh, we didn't always have time to spend with them, you know. And so by going to different things and doing these different things with my grandmother, I got that sense of family and togetherness that, that kind of holds us all together today. Unfair question. Does she have an Indian, a native name? My grandmother had a native name. Her name was Monqua, which meant loon. Oh, Okay. <laughs> And a um, very optional question, what's been the worst moment of your life? Um, I would have to say probably uh, here in the last few years, um, you know, I went through uh, losing a parent, my father, you know, um, and he was a big part of our Miami life as well as my life. That was probably the worst. And the question I've been dying to ask you, how do you feel about being Native? I don't know. it. kind of a difficult, maybe, question. I don't know what it's like not to be Native. So I don't, I, I don't necessarily um, maybe understand that. You know, understand that. Uh, being Native and growing up Native... Um, is, is one of the things that I and my brother both take pride in. Um, you know, and like I said, then that goes back to my grandmother and, you know, and my father and all the family things we got to do growing up. Um, I think that uh, that was probably, you know, to us it's just something that we do. You know, it, it, it's part of everyday life. Um, so I don't know. It's, you know, we're very proud to be Native. We're very proud people. We're, you know, both individually and as a group. Um, but I don't know the, you know, I don't know the difference in not being native to be able to fully, you know, under, you know. Right. Well, the word that. pride is what the common thread over this entire documentary I've been doing that sews it all together mm -hmm. is pride. Because I'm like a mutt. I'm part German, part French, uh, part Iroquois, Mohawk. Uh, but the growing up from the reservation, the Indian side drew me much closer mm -hmm. than anything else because of the pride. Sure, sure, sure.
Um, you know, we uh, that sense of pride and, and togetherness is, is being proud of of what our ancestors have given to us um, and what Mother Earth has given to us and what Grandfather has given to us. Um, and that pride is being able to teach our generations and our children that as well. Um, and I think that all kind of is, is a part of, of how proud we are as a people, you know, regardless of the history and things we've been through. You know, we're still here and, you know, we're, we're very proud of that. We're very proud of, of what we've been given and very proud to be able to pass that on. And, and all this time on Mother Earth, do you have any advice for us poor other creatures here living on Mother Earth? Um, the only advice that I would have is, 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 you know, I think we need to take care of Mother Earth a little bit better. Um, and remember that, you know, um, our people have a saying, and, and it's you always want to remember those seven generations behind you and what they left you. And remember that you are going to be leaving seven generations ahead of you. What you do today will fully affect oh. seven generations ahead of you. Um, and that has been a saying that I think, I don't know if it's a Miami saying, if it's it, um, but it's something that, you know, our elders have kind of, uh, you know, ingrained into our brains, you know, that, you know, you're not only uh, here for, you know, because of your ancestors, you're here for your future, you know, your your future descendants as well. I've never heard it put that way, but wow, that's mm -hmm. strong. Well, Sarah, I thank you very much sure. for the time. Sure.